Hey friends, it's Kari from the Alfred Homestead and today we're slaughtering some chickens the fast way because frankly, sometimes you just don't have 45 minutes to depluck a darn chicken. And unless you've got one of those fancy electrical depluckers that cost, I don't know, $500, which we don't, then this is gonna be your quickest, fastest, most efficient way to go ahead and butcher your chickens. So just like any other process, you go ahead and get your kill cone out. My husband has put it in numerous different places. We put it on a tree. That's just, that's just how we did it today. And we went ahead and put a weight on there with a cutting board just to keep them down in there. Cause you know, sometimes they be kicking when <laughs> you're trying to drain them out. So we're just going to cut the neck and drain them out for just a couple of minutes. And you can go ahead and process numerous chickens all at once. If you've got, I don't know, like a nice hearty clothesline that you could hang up multiple chickens at once to finish draining. Um, on this day, we only had a couple of chickens that we could get to because like I said, time, we were really short on time. So this is another quick way we hang our chickens. Like I just said, you could use a darn clothesline if you wanted to. We've just got some rubber uh, wire here. <laughs> it's just what we had lying around. We've used the same things for rabbits when we hang up our rabbits to butcher them. So we're going to do this because it's so much easier to yank the skin off the chicken when you're not trying to like use your other hand to get the tension going. So Give your bird a nice hose down after they're done draining and everything. And we're going to just go ahead and pull the skin right off this guy. Now, keep in mind, if you want to keep the skin on, you know, go for it. Spend, you know, 30 minutes plucking the chicken if that's your priority. Because, you know, sometimes with homegrown birds, you kind of need that extra um, tenderness in the meat. And that skin will help give it that. However... You could also just spend about 10 minutes or so taking the skin off the chicken and you save yourself so much time. So when you literally are running on <laughs> no time because of life, then you do what we do. All right, so we're gonna do first things first. We're going to go ahead and cut through the neck. The neck is super uh, hard to cut through. Make sure you're using, you're using a very sharp, butcher knife, whatever you have, just make sure it's the sharpest thing you got. So there's really not any uh, particular pattern to go around here as long as you have an opening that you can start pulling the skin off. You'll notice during this process that you're going to be pulling the skin more than cutting the skin. You really can just pull the skin right off. It's almost like skinning a squirrel or a rabbit. It's pretty easy to just yank it off as long as you've got enough tension and that's why hanging up the bird is so nice. So my husband here is starting at the breast and just pulling it down and you can see it's coming off fairly easily. Oh and before someone thinks that we're just gonna waste this precious skin, we're not. There are so many ways that you could use this skin, even if it's not for us. We can bury it in the garden. We can give it to our chickens. We can give it to our black soldier flies. There's numerous ways. You could throw it out in the woods and let nature take its course, of course. But there are absolutely going to be used in some way on the homestead. They're not just going to be tossed to the side. All right, so he's just working his way down the wings now. You're not gonna keep the very tip of the wings. Okay, there's like no meat on those. So we literally just clip the bottom part of those wings and you don't even have to worry about it. You see now he's going out to the back end of the bird and just yanking up. And what you're gonna wanna do here, once you're at the leg to make it easier, you can go ahead and cut the feet of the chicken off and then you can pull the skin right off those legs. 
So you can see how easy it's really coming apart with just a little bit of effort. If you're sitting there plucking a chicken, you've got feathers all over the place. It makes such a massive mess. Not to mention you've got this big cauldron of hot boiling water that you have to keep hot for skinning or for <laughs> plucking all of your birds. It is just a whole process and that's fine if that's your priority, but we don't have time. We needed to get these birds done and processed ASAP. We still have more roosters that we have to process. And you can see here, he's cutting it at the joint. Make sure that you bend the joints and that you're cutting in between those two joints. Don't try and saw at the bone, you guys. You guys are gonna ruin y'all's knives. It's gonna be so hard to process this chicken. So work with the chicken, not against it. And by the way, of course, of course, of course, we are going to keep those chicken feet. I have a plastic bag in my freezer full of chicken feet so that when I want to make stock, I can just throw a bunch in the pot and have awesome stock. And there you go. Skinning a chicken in less than 15 minutes. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.